Get us started, please. Hey, Devo, did you get to spend much time guarding Scotty Pittman Jr. last year? And then I, I guess just what are your thoughts on him as a player and what makes him effective as a scorer? Yeah, um, I got him a little bit. Um, but um, it was a few guys that actually were switching off and on on him. So um, last year we hit him, I think, to like 14, 15 points. I think he was after like – I think he was the leading scorer in the SEC. So, yeah, um, we guarded him and um, hit him under his average – and I think we did pretty good on last year, but no, he's a really great player. And, um, I think he's have a, um, a, a great career um, after he leaves Candy. And they've been pretty good on the defensive end so far this year. What are some of the keys for you guys to have success on offense? Uh, just continue to just um, play, play under control, just play at our pace, um, which is getting up and down. And, um, just not turning the ball over, just making like, sure we take care of the ball and continue to um, – run our sets um, and make sure we execute down a stretch and I think we'll be fine. Nate? Yeah, you know, just how important is it to get back on the boards because rebounding has been a real team strength and hadn't been lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, we've been putting that um, as a big emphasis um, since we've been practicing after the Mississippi State game. And so uh, I think that's something that we're really looking at to do. Um, this upcoming game tomorrow, uh, I think we'll be, we'll be pretty good um, knowing that we have to box out and make sure that um, the flyers that the, that Vandy has um, on the offensive boards, we have to make sure we just um, keep them at the lane and just get rebounds and um, continue to just push the ball. Also, has it been a plus or a minus to have all that much time since you play? You know, you had a bad game. You know, the team had a bad game and it's had a lot of time in between. Has that been a good or bad thing? Um, I think it's pretty good for us knowing that um, we have a lot of time to prepare for the next game. Uh, get, put the Mississippi State game behind us. Uh, I think we'll be pretty fine uh, coming into the next game. Thank you. Nick? Devo, Jackson Robinson has seen a lot of the floor in the last two games. How have you seen him grow over that time, that time span of uh, just getting more comfortable on the floor? Uh, he's a really good player um, on the defense and offensive end, um, knowing that he can stretch the floor for us, six, seven, um, shoot the ball really, really well from the corners, um, which helps us out a lot, um, knowing that we can drive some kicks um, to him. But no, he's a really great player. And, He's going to continue to see the floor as he continues to play hard. And I really like what he's bringing to the team, bringing to the table for um, the team. That was something last year with you. Was, it was the growth of your minutes. As, as you started to see the floor more, you started to evolve last year. And this is really Jackson's first season. Uh, do you feel that's kind of a trajectory he might be going on where the more he sees the floor, the more impactful he'll be for your group? Yes, for sure. Um, he's going to be really, really helpful um, down the stretch. Um, I know that. If he continues to make shots like he is now, he's really going to have a right future. Bob? Hey, hey Devo, how you doing? Um, just uh, Eric Musmo just on here saying that JD is probably a game time decision. He's been practicing some with you guys, but they got to kind of see how he's doing tomorrow and shoot around and stuff. Um, how do you think JD's looked in practice? And if he could come back, how, how big a deal would that be for you guys? And, and, Conversely, if he can't come back, how, how do you guys deal with that? Yeah, he's doing, he's doing pretty good um, from what we've seen. He's been in and out. So uh, we know that uh, he's got to get back into the rhythm of, uh, of game play and things like that. But he help us out a lot um, knowing that he's one of the, top, the leading scorers um, in the country, one of the top scorers in the country. Um, I think the leading scorer in the SEC. So I think he's going to help us out a lot um, um, offensive wise and on the defensive end. Just impacting, um, uh, like I said, we've been switching off on Scotty Pimpin a lot. And so uh, between the guards, him guarding Scotty a little bit, uh, will help, help out a lot. Just besides, you know, JD's obvious talent that he brings, just how big a lift would it be for the team just to have him back, you know, to play whatever Broly can? Uh, it'll help us out a lot. You know, he's one of the guys that um, knows, knows Coach West the most um, and it will help us out. Um, in, in the middle of the game, such as um, when the game is close, so he's not how to execute, play uh, one or two positions and just help us out uh, on many different occasions. And you said it's good you guys have had some extra time to prepare for the game, but, you know, after that last game, it was a tough loss. Just how hungry do you think the team is? What do you think the team mindset is going into this game? 
Um, win for sure. Uh, do whatever it takes to win. I think everyone has that mindset right now, and um, nothing else is is matters right now but winning the game. And uh, but no matter who who uh, does what, as long as we do what we need to do to win. You know, losing three out of four after a really good start. Do you, does the team still have the confidence? You think? Have you guys lost any, you know, mojo? Or how do you feel about that? No, uh, we're we're fine. Uh, we're going to be really good. Uh, we just got to get these. Uh, these screws are um, tighten up and we'll be fine for sure. So one more um, Pippen, I mean, watching film, um, cause you guys played him really early in the year last year. You weren't playing much. I don't think I mean, obviously you play a lot more late. Uh, what, what do you think makes him such a good score? Cause I guess he's, he's edging out JD's 18 one and JD's 18 right now points per game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just, just the way he, he plays his pace of the game. Uh, he knows, he knows spacing and he knows um, how, how to create for himself, and um, not everyone can do that. I think he's really good at that. Um, he does a lot of pump fakes and things like that. Just get his defenders in the air. He knows how to draw fouls and things like that, which makes a, a great score. I mean, you see JD do it, and that's why you put them, them, them two guys in the same conversation because they both know how to score the ball in many different ways, which is a um, really good thing. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate you. Steve, I appreciate your time. Thank you.